These are the faces of heartache, frustration, loss. Hundreds watched priests push the body of 41-year-old Gatem Demasi inside their Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Gatem moved to Nashville 15 years ago to start an Ethiopian grocery store, a restaurant, and bar. This loss is felt throughout his community. This kind of cowardly act of a brutal murder is not going to stop us to be still good citizens and hardworking. Early Sunday morning, a gunman walked inside Gatem's restaurant and shot him several times. Police released surveillance video of the fatal shooting today. They believe Gatem was targeted. When the gunman is unable to leave through a side door, he turns around, shoots Gatem again, and then walks away. But during today's service, mourners chose to remember Gatem's community impact. Whether we know him or not, it doesn't matter. The fact that this happened to a very innocent person, uh, this happened while he was walking, you know, while he was trying for better life, this has touched everybody. Back in Ethiopia, Gatem's mother waited for him to come celebrate his engagement. He was so busy working day and night here, he didn't get any chance to visit his families before. He was planning to go, you know, after a couple of weeks. But it's a celebration cut short. Many are hoping the gunman comes forward. Gatem will be taken back to Ethiopia tomorrow morning. Burial services will be planned for early next week. In Antioch, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. Metro police are asking if anyone knows anything about this murder, no matter how small, give them a call. Gunman shot and killed a South Nashville business owner inside his own restaurant. 41-year-old Gatim Damasi was murdered just after midnight Sunday morning. Tonight, police are still searching for the person responsible. News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy is live in South Nashville at the restaurant. Sarah, police say this was a targeted attack. They are saying that, and that's because the gunman walked in the front door and completely ignored a second witness that was inside, and they didn't steal anything. They just walked in, fired multiple shots, and then left. Now, this restaurant was really more like a home for Gatem. He was known for spending 18-hour days here, seven days a week, which is what makes this murder so emotional. I really want to know who did this, and... I just want justice for my brother. If you ask Zalal and Amari, he did not just lose his only brother. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, he helped me through a lot of um, hard time. I was able to go to school uh, because of him without working. He also lost a father. Ever since I came here uh, for the past nine years, uh, he's been like a dad and brother and everything to me. Now candles and flowers stand in front of the door where a gunman invaded the business that felt more like Gatem's home. A reminder of how many are mourning. I mean, I'm not surprised because he was, he's the kind of person who nobody wanna miss, okay? Yeah, he's really a very, very loving person. Cameras may have captured some clues as to who the killer is but police are still working to access that surveillance system. But Zalalin is confident someone knows something. I want to know what happened to my brother. So if anyone is out there that know who did this, I beg you, please, please bring a justice for my brother. A brother he says will never really be lost. I want to let him know I will always remem remember him. And he would be in my thought every single day. There will be a memorial service for Gatem this Wednesday evening at his church in South Nashville, but I'm told by his family he will ultimately be buried in Ethiopia. Reporting in South Nashville, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5.
የቱልድ ሀገሩን ኢትዮጵያ በብዙ ሺህ ማይል ርቀት ጥሎ በሰሜን አሜሪካ ቴነሲ ግዛት ምሮን ያደረገው የ41 አመት ጎል ማሳ ግብጥም ሽመልስ ደምሴ ህይወቱን ለማሸነፍና ቤተሰቡን ለመርዳት አይቤክስ የተባለ ሬስቶራንት ከፍቶ ሲሰራ ነበር ትላንት ቅዳሜ ለውዳት ቢያ ግጥም ሬስቶራንቱን ኩለለጅ 12 ሰዓት አካባቢ እየዘጋበት ባለበት ሰዓት የአይን ምስክር እንዳሉት ጥቁር በጥቁር የለበሰና ማስክ ያጠለቀ ሰው ሬስቶራንቱ ውስጥ በመግባት ተቆሰበት ከአንድ ጊዜ በላይ እንደሆነ በተገመተ ተኩስ ሰውነቱን የተመታው ግጥም ህይወቱ ማለፉን የናሽቪል ቴነሲ ፖሊስ አስተውቋል እንደ አይን ማኞች ገለጻ የሬስቶራንቱ ባለቤት ላይ ተኩስ የገደለው ሰው ቁመቱ አምስት ጫማ በሰባት ኢንች ይሆናል እንደዚሁም ቆዳው ጠየም ያለ እንደሆነ የአይን ምስክሮች ተናግረዋል ጥቁር ጂንስ እና ጥቁር ረጅም እጅጌ ሙሉ ሸሚዝ ለብሶ ነበር በወቅቱ ግጥም ላይ በተቆሰበት ሰዓት ላይ ፖሊስ በመርመራ ላይ እንዳለ መሆኑን ሲያስታውቅ ማንኛውም ተቃዋሚ መስጠት የሚፈልግ ሰው ካለም ደግሞ በስልክ ቁጥሮቹ 6515 7442 ደግሞ አለው 6157423 ማለት ነው እንግዲህ የሆንድማችን ሞት በጣም 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 ያሳዝን ነው ኢትዮጵያውያን ራሃችን ለማሽነፍ እንደዚህ አይነት ስራ ውስጥ እንገባለን የተለያየ ቢዝነስ ከፍቶ እንደዚህ እና ብዙ ጊዜ እንደሰማችሁት ከዚህ ፊት አትላንታ ላይ ጋስ ስቴሽን የሚሰራ ኢትዮጵያ እንደዚህ በሰዎች ተተኩሶበት እንደዚህ መገዘዝ ታወቃል በተለያዩ ስቴቶች እንደዚህ ነገር ያጋጥማል ናሽቪል ደሞ በጣም አንዳንድ ጣናቶች እንደሚናገሩት ከሆነ ወንጀል ከየበዛባቸው የአሜሪካ ስቴቶች መካከል አንዱ ነው እዚህ ወጣት ሞት በጣም እናደርኛል አዝኛለሁ ለማንኛውም ግን ማንኛውም ኢትዮጵያውያን ቢዝነስ የምትከፍቱ ሰዎች የምትመሩ ካላችሁ ካሜራ በሱቆቻችሁም በሬስቶራንታችሁ ውስጥ ምን እንዳላችሁ ይገባኛል ሆኖም ግን ተጨማሪ ካሜራዎችን በተለይ ፓርኪንግ ሎት ውስጥ ብዙ ሬስቶራንቶች እንደማየው ፓርኪንግ ሎት ውስጥ ያላችሁም ለና እንደዛ ነገሮች በየፓርኪንጉ በተለያየ ቦታዎች ላይ ካሜራ ቢኖርበል ካም ነው ያው አጋጋራችን ሰው ሲተርት መቼም ዋና ዋና መቀደም ነው ይላል ሆኖም ግን ፍትህ ለማግኘት እንደዛ ያለ ነገር ወሳኝ ነው ለዛም ይመስላል ፖሊስ ከውጪ ገዳይ ወይ ሰው ማስክ ለብሶ ስትሬስ ማለት ቢገባም ከውጪ ላይ ሲገባ እንኳን እንዳያዩ ካሜራ ያላገኘ ይመስላል ለዛም ነው ፖሊስ እንግዲህ የምታቁ ሰዎች ካላችሁ በወንጀል ውስጥ የምትጠራጠሩ ጠቁሞ ያለው እና ይሄን ለማለት ነው ይሄ ወጣት በጣም ያዛል 41 አመቱ ነው እንደሰማችሁት ከሆነ ሬስቶራንቱም ባርና ሬስቶራንት ነው አይቤክስ ሬስቶራንት በቢዝነስ ውስጥ ለተሰና መላት እንደቆየ ያስታውቃል ያገኘው መረጃ እንደዛ ነው የሚያሳየው ለማንኛውም ለሟች ነፍስ ይማር ላለው ለቤት ሰዎች ወጣት እንደምን ያለን መልካም ምሽት